correct about Rex, Mick was muted. Thank you very much, say Antaeus. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I did press that button, unless it was still on, I didn't realise. And, oh, why would it? That's why. I restarted my computer, so it would have turned it on. Completely forgot about that. Right, okay. Um. So, as I was saying before, uh, coming back to Excel Escape from the Pit, um, so I couldn't find any grey mould, so I've decided to leave that mission for now, and I'm going to go and look for this More Tracks to Dragon, because I've been having a look at my notes list to see what where it was. Excuse me. Um... So we'll go far north again and we'll see what we can find. Because I remember something about someone wanting to see the dragon. Or oh, speaking to someone who did that. It's good that we're so powerful now that most of the enemies don't actually want to deal with us. At least the one's down the further south. Check you can hear that. Yep. The good thing is, uh huh. Uh, the good thing is, the Nephilim here are quite easy. That's far north, so... Ah, here we go. Um, I think I've seen that before. The problem is, is these maps don't save. It's one of the frustrating things about this. I don't think there was ever a fix for that. This huge, uh, sorry, this huge cave was once a huge mine of some sort. Ruined equipment is scattered about. Nearby, you see a small, rusty blue stone. Okay, we definitely haven't been up here. 
Dusty blue stone, sorry. What did we get? Sapphire? Potentially. This huge cave was once a huge mine of some sort. Ruined equipment is scattered about. Nearby you see a small dusty blue stone. Take it again. So that'll be another sapphire I believe. Yeah, okay. And what's here? Same again. Okay. So I just want to check up here. Make sure there's nothing. No, okay. This is where we'll accidentally find the grey mould. Although I'm not holding my breath. This sign says Cave of Mo uh, Motrax. Polite guest only, please. So the dragon's here. I'm assuming that's a cave. Is this a dragon south? Okay. Let's go see the dragon. I'm assuming this is it. Uh, what does the sign reads? The cave mo tracks reports of barracks before entering. Uh, guest quarters. Can't see much. No growls, even better. Who are you? You see a woman in long sparkling robes. She has long brown hair, set off well by the sparkling crystal around her neck. Oh, no, not by. Didn't want to say that. <laughs> Name. Greetings, traveller. I am Mar uh, Marion. What brings you here? Job. I have been here for a year uh, now, conversing with teaching and learning for Motrax. Motrax. The ancient dragon of the cave. He knows so, so much of these tunnels and the races in them. Okay, dragon. Ancient. Tunnels. I only hope, uh, sorry, I hope one day to plumb into his memory and find knowledge of the, tun the tunnel to the service world. Then I can escape this horrid pit. She looks at you slyly and maybe take the captain with me. Okay. Uh, no ledge. Surface. Nope. Captain. She grins very broadly. Coves the captain. Uh, if I left, I'd, uh, I'd have to take him with. He's good to have around. Okay, fine. 
Can't get through the doors. You just appeared. You see a tall, thin man with a long beard. He is old and frail, but you can feel great power coming from him. Name. He gives you a barely perceptible nod of his head. I am Leaf. Sure I've heard that name before. Let me just check. No, I have heard of it though. Uh, job. I grow old and I learn from the dragon. Dragon. We understand each other, although he was as old as I am as an infant. I still find we think surprisingly alike and one day he will mourn me. Infant? Nope, okay. Uh, just give me a moment. Right, let's start looking at the bookshelves. Nothing. Nothing on the bookshelves. She's not moving. That's the barracks. You see a skinny man in nice steel armor. He's almost manic. He can't seem to slow down. Name? He bounces up to shake your hand, a wild grin on his face. Greeting, I'm Ko. Welcome to the Cavern of Motrax. Okay, so, job. I greet visitors to the cave. I also guard things I need to be guarding. Okay, guarding. He straightens up. It's a dull job. With Motrax around, only a fool would cause trouble. I mainly greet people and take care of my cats. Cats? Delta and Epsilon are their names. Uh, they should be in the cave. Motrax loves them. Okay. Um, let's do trouble. Uh, greet. People, no tracks. Okay, don't think you can get any further than that. You see a big, beefy, pasty uh, face guard. He looks bored. Name, I'm Alex. Job, guarding the dragons. He snickers. Get me? I'm guarding a dragon. I feel so useful. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of see his point there. Um, useful. Okay. Any secrets? Nope. Actually, they could have been on that wall. No, okay. You see a big BR is another board one name. Alex, the same Alex. Okay, bye. Um... How much food have we got? Oh, I've got plenty. There's one of the cats. Ah, dragon. 
The floor of this cave has been worn smooth by centuries of dragon feet passing over it. The floor slopes downward to a large rounded depression in the centre, perfect for something large to rest in. You see a dragon. He is green with reddish highlights and towers high above you. The dull colour of his skin and the cracks in his wings indicate he is very old. He stares at you with frighteningly wise eyes. Name. His voice is so deep it seems to, it seems to make the ground vibrate. I am Motrax. Job. He sighs. A small whisp of flame comes out. I am an ancient dragon, long past my prime. I do not roam the caves and hunt any more, but devote myself to scholarly pursuits and playing with my cats. Okay. Scholar scholarly. I have humans come in here, and I learn of their ways and of the land above ground. I would like to visit. Alas, your leaders would no doubt cast me below again, at best. He chuckles smokily. I like you humans, despite our first meeting. Okay, meeting. I met some of those in the first visitation which we've heard about. His head re uh, rears back in surprise. You haven't learned of the visitation yet. When those above found these caves, they sent a large force below, led by a small group of powerful adventurers with such magic. The sorry band hoped to subdue us all. They were arrogant, they were stupid, and they were slaughtered. Uh, let's see, what can I query? Adventures. Nope. Try cats. Remarkable little creatures. I don't know how I live without them. Okay. Try magic. No. Okay, this is going kind of nowhere. That's not right asking the right thing. Let's put prime and ancient. A thousand years I've been alive. I hope for a thousand more, but they will be quiet, filled with contemplation, not battle. Okay. Contemplation. Battle. I have fought with uh, I have fought many many battles with the Sotheraki with humans and my brothers. Ooh, that's gonna be interesting. So, Slith, Sir Ikai. I probably spell, uh, pronounced that wrong so many times. My brothers in cold blood, but in no other way. There are many who are kind and wise, <coughs> uh, but the um, sorry, the Slytherikai who live nearby are exiles from their race. They are cruel and dangerous. I remember once he had the gall to attack my home. He tells a story, a story of blood and fire, ending in his victory. 
try the story. Nope. Humans. Nope. Brothers. I call the other dragons in his keys my brothers, but don't be mistaken, we are not hatched from like broods. Broods? Okay, let's try Exiles and Gaul. Attack. Home. I do like this game, but I don't like the fact that I've got to figure out a way to try and eke out more information. Because it doesn't always seem... Trying to get the right amount in a certain way. It would be nice if it was kind of... Highlighted a bit more, maybe. Because it's not always obvious where to kind of go. No, okay. Can you buy anything? Nope. Okay, so that's about as far as I've got. But at least it's a nice, um, the dragon had a nice uh, avatar to it. Shit, these are the fucking drakes. Probably won't do much. Can't see target. Probably going to die out of this. Farrell's about to get Farrell's dead. Great. Well, at least we know where the dragon is. I wonder though, maybe the grey mold is past the dragon. Because I don't think we've been that far. I kind of went this way to go far north. means I've not got the sapphires but that's fine not too fussed about them at the moment
So let's see where the dragon was. area. This passage starts sloping upward, sharpening. You keep going up and keep climbing. You're starting, uh, starting to dare to get hopeful. Starting to believe you may have found a way out. The passage ends in a cave-in two miles up. Countless tons of black rock the exit. Um, countless tons of rock block the exit. Burns on the ceiling make it clear this was the work of humans not nature. So I almost got out then. That would have been a, a nice but weird and easy end to the whole thing. But I still got a lot to do yet. element was trying to track me for quite a while and seem a bit tough as well that even worse uh, you need to start healing Brian before he die in fact let's do it like heal all Okay, so they did a fireball round here, which killed a couple of their guys. Um, I was going to say shit, that's not a set spell point, so I thought Brian was going to be dead then. So let's... Let's do a wound. Oops, that's not good. He heal Brian before he's dead. Now that you're close together, even I could do fireball. Oh, 
on the broadsword, cool. And somebody needs to do a we can poison. Excellent. <sighs> That should still say, uh, ooh, that's different. Cave of Motrax East, Fort Draco West. Why have I seen Fort Draco? Let's have a look at the notes. Find Draco. I've heard it mentioned, but it's not in the notes. Okay. Unless I've come across it before when I came in from that direction um, to look for the grey mould, which is quite possible. a cave. Ancient crypt. Okay. I'm not being attacked at the moment. A middle-aged man with a scratchy beard and battered armor sits warming himself by a fire. He has a holy symbol and a dented mace. Name? He nods. They call me Ghoulie. Job. It grunts. I and Young Me are adventurers. We're trying to get into the crypt. Crypt. That's definitely what it is. I can sense the torment of the souls beyond. We hope to liberate them from their unholy bondage and pick up a treasure or two in a bargain. Um. Liberate. Treasure. Don't know. Okay. You find a small Asian woman with waist length hair. She seems to be mixing up some poison. Name? Greetings, I'm Young Me. Uh, job. Getting ready to enter the crypt. It'll be tough uh, hole. Nasty and dangerous. She sighs, but better than the alternative. Okay. So crypt and alternative. Crypt. The main problem is now, uh, now is figuring out how to get in. Spells and picking haven't worked on the door yet. We'll keep on it. There must be some way to open it. So there's probably a switch somewhere. Okay. Um, let's try spells door. Uh, what was the other one? Alternative. Well, I could be on a service. I went into exile voluntarily. I may be the only one. Let's just say there was a marriage I wasn't interested in being part of. She looks at the substance she's grinding carefully, then smiles. It's hard to get quality ingredients. Okay, this could be another mission, kind of. So, I'm going to try push for voluntary marriage. And ingredients. I have had the best luck with poison glands of asps. Asps are hard to find, but their fangs make powerful poison. If you can find a recipe, um, or oh, if you can find a recipe. I teach you mine, but well, I don't want to. Sorry. She smiles um, winningly. Still, there are better things. What I could really use are some good arrows. Arrows. Arrows of light and arrows of life would be really useful in here. Uh, first slays demons, the latter only slays undead. Both are rare as hell. 
Oh well, got things to do the old fashioned way. Oh, have to do things the old fashioned way. God, I might, uh, my my um, reading comprehension today is so bad. Um, friends make a uh, powerful poison if you can find a recipe. Okay, I think that's all I can push her on. No buying. Let's try myself. Unlock. Nope. Okay. Let's try a long light. Long night didn't work for quite a while. Um, quite a while. Uh, ooh, long light didn't work for uh, very long, but I did find a lever in the wall. You pull the lever, uh, as soon as you let go of it, it starts to move back up. Uh, let's just speak to them. Cool. All right, fine. I'll just walk in myself. You know what? I best save here. I've got a feeling I'm going to die quickly again. Wow. That really didn't last long. Oh, these are bodies. Okay. Nothing in the body. Nothing on these bodies. Targets. Can't see targets. The monsters are fairly um, okay to defeat.
Right, I think sensibly. I'm like, oh shit. I can't get back through the door. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> oh dear. Um, hmm. Methinks this could have been a bad idea. Either alter. This is why you need the arrows of light, I'm assuming. Hopefully, there is a lever. Nope. I do the math. See these zombie things are coming out from any uh, everywhere, basically. Does it give me a lot of money, though? Uh, relatively. The other thing is I obviously need to get out because I'm run out of food. Thank you. 
think I've saved it at the wrong point. Please tell me that there's a, um, there's a way to get out. Right, that's two more doors. Problem is, I don't want to use light too much. Is it just going to eat magic? So basically, 
at the moment there's no way of getting it out that's the ult we saw Must be a way. Getting back out because if that was the way of getting in this way, then moment it seems to require and not follow undead that doesn't mean it's going to change or not change hmm Oh, thank God, I'm out. Okay, so, save here. I know how to get in. I don't know how to get out. So, I'm not going to go back in there for a while. Why have I still got Amiga? And should I change that? Give me a sec, let me just change my tabs. I think of course I've changed it before I went up to... Let's try this again. RPG. Oh, all right, when does when ninety eight windows ninety eight? Okay, that's what I put in the last time. Let's try that. There we go. Okay. Right, so we found a ancient crypt, but I think we'll come back to this later.
Monster too close. Oh, bat. Bat disappeared. Alright, okay, so this was the way to the dragon. Didn't give us much. Dragon Cave. Oops, didn't want to press that. Mining tunnels, which I think I've been in before. Which means there should be, yes, because the. Yes, I have been there before. Right, so I didn't go to the east. I think that was the issue. Right, hmm. So the dragon didn't give much, or I couldn't find much from the dragon. This is technically far, far to the north. I'm wondering whether maybe I can get into one of these tunnels because Find a mine, escort it out, because one of these must get me in. Escort it out. rubble uh, can't get through and that's about it I think Nine two food. Let's go and grab some more. Remember where everything is. In you've got to keep out. Barracks. Supply. Okay. 
Oh, okay, you don't have that. Sapphires were 250 though. So three of them were at 750 in terms of that. Glowstone could be useful. Maybe for the area like, um, where we've just been in one of the, um, excuse me, an ancient temple thing. Crypt, that's what I was trying to think of. A blacksmith. Alchemy. Boats. Fuck, excuse me, how much is a boat? Your boat is just outside town. How much did that cost? A couple of hundred, possibly. Probably not going to get as far, but at least it's summer. There's the boat. I forgot, it can't do it, go diagonal. Or I can go across. There's a spider. Spider cave. Oh, I think I've been on this side. Because that was the spider cave where they're all kind of very friendly. Uh, pilot under it. That's a bridge, by the way. Which is good because it means our ship will to get further. This is getting a bit iffy to move, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to save as exile. I'm going to put boat because I'm not sure if I still want to keep the boat. I'm just going to restart. I'm going to restart because I'm noting it's it, it kind of chug a little bit. Usually when I restart it's a bit better. Plus nostalgia for seeing um When it's not yet logo.
Actually, before I do that, I want to see how much that was. So if I open this one, one, four, three. So it was about 300, I'd say, for the boat. Which, to be fair, isn't actually that bad. It's not like I can't make it back. That's dead end practically. This tiny uh, lake is a small, by this tiny lake is a small stone cottage. There's no signs of life and the door has been smashed in. Enter. The cottage has been thoroughly looted. No idea who might have lived here. Whoever it was, probably a mage of some sort. There are people scattered everywhere. Examine them. You can't figure out the notes. Maybe if you learned more about magic. Hmm. So this is an interesting area to come back to. Where was this? Oh, I should be accessible by boats, that's good. Under, under. This looks familiar. I think I've been back here. We're at the entrance to a hot steam filled cave. So the south spires of basalt and pumice emerge from pools of magma. Sure, what that area is for, but I'm sure I'll find out. I come back at some point. This was. Oh, I know where this is. Let's see if I can grab some supplies while I'm here. Let's 
for a sword, so that's training. Found some burbles out a crack in the ground here. The water is sparkling, looks highly inviting. Alright, let's drink and see what happens. The water is cool and pleasant uh, going down. You drink your fill and then the water sours in your stomachs. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Should have known that was going to be bad. So we can't get any further there, we can't do diagonals. goes up. Let's go from this direction. An armed group of some things clearly met a grisly fate here. Heaven knows what they were. Nothing of fire remains, only stains and fragments of bone.
cool. Someone's poisoned, so I can't sleep. <sighs> okay, so... What I might do is, I might go back down to Kotra. Gax Peninsula, uh, Peninsula discovered by Gax. Year two two thirty four. Twenty two thirty four, eh? Okay. Problem is, is I can't get a boat that I could kind of pack up. So what I can do though is going to come back because of course Massive amount of battles. Hopefully I've got enough magic for them all.
Ooh, one would have to figure out what that is later. And we got not too bad. I was poison, that's fine. There's no mages in this. Cool, how much should I make back? Not very much. Oh dear. Ah, the filament ogres. No spell points. Because so I've not had a chance to rest and I've just been hit with loads and loads of um enemies
Right, last set. Are you running? Fine. Nope. FLM and Ogres. About to run out of spells. You're out of spell points. Okay. Hopefully I can get through this slot without much, too much trouble. These cave slimes take a bit of damage. Right, finally. Can I rest? Hmm. Yes. Thank God for hmm. that. I'm still on boat save. Yes. Replace boat save.
Ooh, nice. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of familiar. Shreds of armor and broken weapons indicate some sort of battle or ambush took place here. However, who was fighting whom is not clear. Where am I? Small spring. Okay. Cotra West. Okay, so maybe. Hold me on. Two hundred and eight. Um, food. Maybe I go and get a boat from here. You see, I have a man with a big peg leg. He wears an eye patch, but you can't help but notice it's occasionally. He lifts it and looks at something with both eyes. Okay, um, makes a brief R noise. You aren't sure why. R matey, I'm uh, Eduardo. I'm the master boat smith here. He says R again. Job, sell boats, find crafts fit to sell a seas, well, the lakes. Got one ready to purchase. You look uh, enough to uh, break the damage, your matey, and a bargain 250 gold. Okay, fine, buy outside town. So I'm probably going to have loads of boots now, which I'll be good actually. And I wonder whether I could go under. Oh, I can't even fucking get up here. Great. And, uh, I was hoping to go north. That does not to be the case. That is um what I was was trying to think of a bloody town name. Not Slitheraki can piss off. Um Silvar, that's what I'm thinking. And uh, oh, it's funny because as soon as I get off land, the beastry population just increases. In this peninsula, you see a small island to the south. I think you see figures moving back and forth on it. Okay. This one. Ah. Island Fort. With what looks to be... Slitheraki? Oh, fuck that. Back, 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 back. Can't see.
Cold Moon is almost dead. We're in a series of tunnels carved out of a huge uh, rock um, promontory. The outcropping is mostly hollow and filled with a small lake, which the cliffs have built narrow stone docks on. The caves are extremely chilly, moist, uh, slimy and uncomfortable. See anybody? It's too dark. Cool. again. See if I can leave the area. That'll be a no. Wow, I cannot leave the area. Oh, I need to go up, that's why. Oh, thank God for that. Let's yeah. rest. Right, okay. Found a slith fish farm here. Uh, there is a small fish lake being stocked and fished by a large group of human slaves 
They wear thick shackles in the watch and beaten by a small group of overseers. Huh. Let's save at this point. Attack. With your help, the slaves overcome most of their overseers, take the keys to the chains and free themselves. They get away uh, because you, def you they get away because they you defend them from a large group of Zephyraki arrive and attack you. Let's see who we've got. Oh no, we've got a bloody priest and a mage, which makes that even worse. I'm glad I've saved, because I know I'm not, not going to survive this one. <laughs> yep, I knew that was coming. Right, do not rescue the people because you're not powerful enough here. But at least we know with they're here. There's a stone pylon here covered with strange pictograms. Many of them depict violence. I think that's a uh, Slitheraki space. This is a fort. Since I'm here, I could probably rest here for a bit. Mm. Uh, already put up the sign that says warning spiders. Is that the woman the peninsula? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. More spiders. Considering I dealt with spiders with magic powers, I'm not in the uh, rush to go and take this on. What's in here? This cave is filled, filled with giant spiders. However, instead of building webs or attacking where it's expected, they're running around. Oh, these are the um, excitable ones. Which means the ones on this side are going to be kind of quite nasty. Uh, 
Oh, I remember because I was on this side, wasn't I? I was wondering how to get to the other side. And now I'm kind of not wanting to anyway. And we can't go any further. Right, okay. It's funny, they've disappeared. Oh, the monster's fled. Okay. In a secluded grove, you find a patch of beautiful, nice smelling, bright orange flowers. Uh, they're ember flowers. It's amazing that they can even exist down here. What's more, ember flowers in bloom can be used for alchemy. Take those. Found something new. I mean, I'm kind of half looking for grey mold because I'm up here. Because I thought, well, if I've got a boat, I should be able to find something. with spiders why is there so much investment in this particular game I've never completed it so um, I'm going to at least try and finish it so that I can say that I've, I've done it because I remember playing a shareware of the game years ago but I didn't spend too much time into it and I kind of always want to go back and finish it um, so that's what I'm trying to do At the moment, I'm not um, doing much good in progress. I seem to be dining a lot. I'm finding a lot of things to do, but it's like trying to find half the stuff. Uh, this huge area is blocked off by a low wall uh, two miles from north. It's a giant lizard pen maintained for giant food. You are able to tell this, of course, because you've just happened upon a group of giant lizards and their shepherd. Well, luckily, we've taken on ogres, so it's not too bad. Um, probably my 97, probably. Um, I do have the CD of it that I had. Hang on, where's the, um, what PC CD that I had? December 97 is when I played it, or yeah, probably December, around December, January, something like that.
Yep, this is the full version. Um, because I remember if you um, went too far in one direction or any other direction, you get to a little window that would pop up and it would say it was a shareware demon. And it would, <laughs> it would say something like, oh, you can't go... Um, prevented you from going this far because it's a shareware one and um, so obviously it limited you in terms of like you could only go in this kind of area sort of thing Right, so if I do it here, I should be fine. Cool, that's them got rid of. Are we on 209? Well, we have made quite a bit of progress to be fair. Lots of spiders. Well, we found a Noga section. We found something about the uh, ember plants. Which is quite. It's probably going to be quite useful. This is a wide, smooth floor covered with thin, uh, tall, thin stalagmites. That's not the interesting part. The interesting part is a huge web extending 40 or 50 feet in the air, strung between the uh, stalagmites. Okay, so this will be all the spiders then. Oh, new area. This tiny hidden cave is so choked with spider webs it's almost impossible to move. Small spiders the size of your hand watching you hoping you move closer. Yeah, fuck that. Right, hmm.
Alright, so explode all the way up here. This was all a spider area from the other side. Yeah, funny. Stop me from landing, but when I get on, you decide to leave. Okay. So we visited the dragon. Didn't get much out of the dragon. Apart from the dragon's very old. And uh, we found something about the Sothraki. Um, being kind of part of the dragon, but kind of not in a whole. It's more. A cold blood sense, uh, blood sense. Um, we've managed to accidentally buy a boat and we've had a look around so I decided to have a look around with the boat near Cotra hoping that I could go north um, to find this apparent grey mold but I can't see any um, I might have to look at a walkthrough just to kind of push me a bit further somewhere. Uh, so I'll do that next week actually. Um, just so I can get a sort of glimpse of where I'm supposed to go next. Because I'm a bit kind of... I'm lost in some ways. It's, this place is massive. But it's like you get given missions but sometimes it's too difficult a mission. And sometimes it's like the grey mold. I don't know where the hell I'm going. So I think... What well, might be an idea is, yeah, I'll do that and have a nosy. And then we can kind of progress a bit further. So of kind of wander around and uh, seemingly getting nowhere-ish. I mean, we've, we've done a couple of missions whereby we managed to get a necklace and something else. So at least it's something, but it's just, I think I'm kind of dragging it a bit. And I'm not really kind of progressing in a story-wise. Uh, finding lots of stuff out, but just nothing that's really kind of um, concrete, as it were. But we've got three saves. I've got a boat. I can easily pull back the money that I've spent on it, so that's fine. Um, so yeah, uh, we'll come back to this next week. Um, it's from the Vernum series. Yeah, uh, this was the original. This is before. Avernum. Avernum was the remake of this, I believe. Um, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. So this was the remake. This is how it all began. I thought we talked about this last time. Unless I didn't speak to you about it. But I definitely spoke to someone about it. And we had a chat about... Um, uh, I've heard them. The other one that I want to play from theirs is Nethergate, which is more of a kind of um, Roman Britain kind of thing, which would be interesting. Um, but that won't be until f for quite a while, considering I'm, a I'm having a bit of sort of wandering around, sort of having fun, but trying to sort of, you know, advance it and not doing well. Um, but yeah, we'll do that next week. Sorry. I'm I'm rambling now. Um, okay, so thanks everyone for popping in and uh, bearing through all that kind of exploration. Um, I will be back on Friday where we'll be looking at more Dreamcast stuff. So hopefully this time I won't get issues with the Dreamcast. Uh, we can actually have a bit of a decent uh, player things. So what I'll do is I'll probably play um I'll probably play Tomb Raider again because we had some issues with that because it was flicking on and off. Um see you later there, Retro Gaming Denmark.
Uh, again, thanks for popping in and for the chats. Uh, we'll play a bit of Tomb Raider. Oh, what's up? Okay. Um, we'll play a bit of Tomb Raider. Do a bit of Jet Set Radio. Uh, I want to do wet tricks or wee tricks. I'll do a bit of Stump GP and oh, Star Lancer. Uh, was the other one. Uh, what I wanted to do. Um, uh, you stream on YouTube. No, I do videos, but not streaming. And I'm about to change, or about to make an announcement soon on changing my schedule. I used to be uh, full time. Um, I say full time. I used to. You can see the the schedule on the left hand side. Um, but now I'm going to pull back to every two weeks because I do this now, kind of more than I do the YouTube side. So it's kind of taking the time away from the YouTube bit. Um, I used to dual, I used to dual stream on Twitch uh, before I came an affiliate. So obviously I can't do that now with me being an affiliate. I've got to be exclusive to Twitch. Um, so I don't dual stream anymore. Uh, the only thing I do do is I put the extra st uh, sorry my extra channel is all the backups from this stream but what I'm gonna do is I'm de deciding to rename if I can the extra channel to some like Namco's on Twitch just as kind of like the backup thing and then uh, what I usually do on YouTube is I upload games from ZX Spectrum that's until I die and poke fresh lies and um, I uploaded the Poker Virtual Lives one today. That is looking at what's the game, the ninja game, uh, Avenger. So that's up today. Um, next, uh, tomorrow will be. What did I play? Let me just double check to see what I played. Or does that spectrum? You prefer live anyway. Okay, no problem. Well, I've uploaded that anyway. So let me just double check. I'm already part way through. Let me just check what I've, I've, I've done. Because I forgot what I'd done myself. Apple Jam, that was it. Nice little simple game, that one. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then they usually do kind of Let's Plays, which are currently is System Shock 2. So I also upload gameplay to YouTube just so that I can remember which games are played and for fun. Uh, yeah, at the moment I seem to be kind of going through the uh, Spectrum catalog at the moment for the YouTube side. Which is why when I do Spectrum over here, I kind of have a list of stuff I can play. Because obviously I don't want to kind of ruin this as a surprise as it were. Because now that I'm going through that list, I just kind of want a, a first impression kind of thing. So I don't want to kind of, you know. Um, the Let's Play for System Shock 2, I am, where are we up to? I'm on the Rickenbacker, um, the bit where... You've just met, it's just after I've just met Diego. So you know the, the room with the um, the church that's flipped upside down, that's whereabouts where I am at the moment. Um, so I've got another video of that going up this week. So yeah, that's on the YouTube side. Um, what was I going to say? So yeah. Friday, I'm going to do some Dreamcast stuff, and I will probably squeeze in some more uh, Saturn stuff as well. So that's probably going to be a five-hour stream again, just because I might as well just do them both. Uh, I did it last time. And then Sunday, we'll be getting back to Narshadar, where I'll be swearing like a trooper, uh, because I've been shot at by all the Rodans with um, Jedi Knight 2 and VR. So, uh, yeah, it's the... Only game so far that's made me sworn really badly uh, <laughs> because of the amount of diss I've had. Um, 
I used to stream mainly ZX stuff, mainly Russian scene. Uh, so TR DOS stuff, I take it. Uh, some interesting games on TR DOS, including that weird alien one. And uh, speaking of uh, uh, Star Wars, I think they'll go and raid Bitterman, who's playing Star Wars 2 Jedi Knight 2. So <laughs> I'm going to go watch someone play Jedi Knight normal mode, even though I'm playing it VR mode on Sunday. So there you go. But he's, I think he's only just started it. So it's not going to spoil it for me. Um, so yeah, they'll go and raid Bitterman. Right, start that raid. Thank you for the stream, no problem. I always enjoy uh, getting the stream done and having you all enjoy it and stuff, if I can. <laughs> all right, okay, thank you everybody for popping in. Thanks for the chats. I will see you all hopefully on Friday. And until then, um, see you later. Bye.